in Chiang Mai, Thailand. So today, what we are gonna do, so I have my friend here, Christian, with me, and we were actually doing a video in um, uh, Bangkok Chinese night market. And so today, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing four night markets today and uh, in Chiang Mai. So I wanna show you guys exactly what the night market looks like and uh, go explore from there. So let's go. Um, the first night market that we are going to go to is the Pavilion Night bazaar market and it is around 6 5 p.m right now and uh, i'm just going to show you around uh to let you guys know you know what to expect as well as uh yeah what to expect when you come here i guess so let's go all right i'll be going oh yeah we are going to go inside so um we're just gonna what we're going to do is we're going to walk outside and i'm going to show you uh what they sell on the outside and then we're going to go inside because like there's a big sign that says pavilion night bazaar market so uh we're definitely going to go in there all right, what do we have? So we have some strawberry yogurt, some fruit shakes here, some gyozas, vegetarian shrimp, pork, 50. That's as much as we paid for last time, right? Oh, oh my God, look at that. I've got like a massive taco. Oh, that smells really nice, to be honest. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is uh, really beautiful. All right, so on the right-hand side, you've got like souvenirs. Oh, guess what, guys? They actually, um, they carved that soap out. That looks amazing. So that's actually candles, but they carved it out and they painted it. That's beautiful. Wow. Okay, passport and uh, some souvenirs, like necklaces on that side. But what's really getting me is this side here, the food. So mango sticky rice over there. This is like some Thai food over here. Oh my god, my stomach is grumbling right now. Very reasonable prices as well. So, a hundred is around like five Australian dollars. Roti. Mmm, beautiful. Pad Thai. Oh, and pork ribs as well. And uh, we're just gonna head on this side because this is like the actual like pavilion night bazaar market. All right, so like, yeah, there is music right now. That's all right. Hello, hello, mashed potato. Good morning, guys. All right, it's all right. Uh, barbecue pork, barbecue bacon. Ooh, a dollar for one of them. Awesome, papaya salad. There are so many options here. This is great. So, oh, these are your spring rolls. Oh, it's gonna get really loud now because I think they've just like played music. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Wow, look at those pad thais. <laughs> Similarly, you got gyozas here as well. Oh, look at those steaks. They look so juicy. <gasps> this looks really good too. Oh my gosh, I actually not too sure what to do because. Um, gonna check out four night markets right um, and we want to suss out which place to go to actually is there anything here that you want to eat like that's like you know anything you I want to know. eat you I, don't know we have, I don't see the other markets okay well let's go to that market then the food too like that looks good yeah we can come back if anything right we can come back if there's a uh, so many options here yeah, but uh they also have like this is their seating area so the pavilion is like you've got shrimps mango sticky rice and some like uh what's it called uh bars at the bar over there where you can actually drink alcohol there is live music here as well so um that's just one thing that you can expect they they don't generally start till like 7 30 with the live music so i've come a little bit earlier because like i feel like it's a uh, very um I'm more quiet, I guess, and it's not like full on in terms of showing you guys this because uh, if I was to show you at around like 7.30, you probably wouldn't hear my voice and nor could you like see, um, I guess it'd be a little bit more distracting, I guess, and it'll be more of a walking tour than me showing you guys around the place. So 
that's the reason why. Now, uh, we're going to go ahead that way to the uh, right hand side and see the other markets. Let's go. Alright, so this is like the main street in Shanghai uh, that just has like so many markets here. It's so crazy. And uh, like on top of that as well, like while you're walking, right, you get to the left hand, there's so many stores outside. And likewise, when you walk to the right, there's heaps of stores as well. And um, like what they sell is uh, a lot of sandals. Um, yeah, the sandals that uh, Christian was looking for. Uh, the reason why I say that is because uh, we were looking for sandals. 300 bucks. How much you pay for yours? I've used it already, so it's good. Oh, you used it already, so it's all right. Is it, is it comfortable? Yeah. How much did you pay for it again? It's not even really affordable. 500 bucks? 550 bucks. 550? Yeah. Ah, 550 bucks. So, um, uh, Christian's actually paid uh, for his sandals at a mark. Oh no, market. No, you were at a legitimate store. It's in the mall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was um, at Terminal 21 and he uh, bought uh, sandals for 550 bucks. And the market sandals out here are 300 bucks. So, yeah. It's interesting because um, the thing is, uh, I, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but I actually met Christian at a hostel in the, um, the Bangkok hostel. Uh, Asara D. Asara, Asara. Asara D Hostel and uh, we actually did a video back in uh, Chinatown uh, and yeah it was pretty funny because he went to go on like a sandal sort of uh, a mission and yeah we eventually found his sandals but not at the market uh, we actually found it at Terminal 21 and um, I was telling him how I was going to Chiang Mai and um, he was like oh I'm going to Chiang Mai as well and so we were like oh so do you want to go to the night market again and so I guess like here we are at the night market again because we were like, oh, we're both going to the same place. You know, we're both meeting up at the same time, so why not, right? So that's why we're both here at this night, at this night market. All right. So let's see what else they have. Oh, oh man, look at that. Can you believe that? That looks amazing. I don't know if that's real or not. Like some of these, um, stores outside also say like uh don't take pictures as well and so i'm like trying to be a little bit more cautious as to what i take pictures of and what i don't oh actually we just found our next destination so this here is the night bazaar market and we're going to try and cross the road right christian because uh it's a little bit it's not as hectic as bangkok but uh I, we still have to be very careful about crossing there's just a lot of um cars right now i don't know how i'm gonna cross Hey Christian, do we just put our hands up and cross? <laughs> oh, there's a pedestrian over there. Please cross, please cross, please cross. Yes. All right, they've crossed. Let's go. All right, so this here is a uh, night bazaar, right? And uh, we're going to check this out as well. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, wow. They have like lanterns here. That's beautiful. Oh, you call these lanterns? They're like light lamps. Yeah, it's, they have light lamps here as well. And so this is like a big sign over there and uh, we're going to go in and see what they have. Oh, Christian's going to like, I want to see more of this. <laughs> All right. Uh, actually, should we get to like the main entrance? Let's get to the main entrance. Oh, they got like tailored clothes here as well. Oh, look at this. Adidas shoes. Okay. This is awesome. Wow, okay, so uh, we're gonna go up now, and this is the uh, market here. But, uh, like, just based on the outside, I think like, it's a pretty small market. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, we're gonna go look at the food, because I think the food is the most important part, right? Alright, what do we have? Oh, okay, we have roti. We have the durian roti. Oh, durian roti? Ooh! Durian's like a luxury here, guys. I know, like, some of you may think it's really stinky and uh, s smells like fart, is what, like, quoting some people say, but it is, like, actually the nicest thing ever. And it's so creamy, it's so, uh, it's so nice. What's this? Pizza roti. Wow, that looks amazing. Look at that. That's uh, shaped in a very different way. I think that's like a flower, right? Flower, and then put like crab. Oh. Oh, and then she's gonna roll that up. Oh, that's very cool. And they've got like fire over there as well. So that turns into this. And it is 60 baht. So it's like three, three AUD dollars. 
Mexican food as well. Indian. And Pad Thai. Okay. Oh, this is like the butterfly thing that we saw just then, like where they um uh, put it in a frame. Wow. Okay. Check this out. We're just gonna like go around this way. Oh, okay. There's not really much here on this side, and it's like light music as well. Uh, okay, so uh, the guys, I think this is like a super small market. Uh, I don't think that there's a lot of uh, action happening here. Uh, and oh, look at those artworks. Those look amazing. Oh, that lion looks so good. Okay, cool. Wow, you know what? That lion looks beautiful. That artwork looks absolutely amazing. Yeah. This kind of reminds me of like, you know, those Asian sort of, uh, um, ah, how do I describe this? So, um, back when I was like a kid, my auntie used to have this uh, artwork and it had a horse on it and Chinese writing. Like, that's what I was kind of reminded of. I just don't know how to explain it to you guys because like, it's just such an old artwork and it was like a ceramic sort of thing as well and that's why it kind of reminded me of so they've got like more artwork here Mona Lisa Lion Buddha and oh you know what I'm not gonna show you guys that <laughs> if you guys saw that I'm covering your eyes don't look at it keep it PG rated um, cool so they've got live music here as well and just like on the other side too let's uh, have a look because I don't think we've uh, been to this side yet uh, Alright, cool. So I've got ice cream rolls for 90 bucks. A waffle Hong Kong. Fruit smoothies. French crepes. Toasted corn. Oh, wow. That one looks good. You know, anything with cheese. Oh, I'm such a sucker for. Oh, cow soy. Hey, didn't you want cow soy? Do you want cow soy here or you want a cow soy in another place? Uh, it's up to you. Which place have you tried? Uh, I haven't tried. I tried, I tried one at the pavilion, um, but you know what, cow soy tastes like super different in every single place. So um, you can't say that cow soy is the same in every area, I'd say. Um, fried rice and crepe as well. Um, the reason why I say that is because like sometimes it's salty, sometimes it's sugary. Like you just can't get the mix, uh, I guess, uh, the same in every place. So what would you like to do? There's another market though. Yeah, so you want to go on that side? Yeah, that's right. That's up to you, it's up to you really. Because I just saw cow soy. Like, let's see Are you sure you're not hungry? I'm hungry, but... He's hungry? He's hungry, but he wants to go see the other side. So, literally, this like night market is just across the street. So, it's, it's such a close range of night markets in like one street. So, I'm just like super shocked about how close everything is. It's just so convenient and like everything you want is in one spot. It's amazing. Alright. Is there like this? It's like a, a one night market. Huh? It's just... Yeah, it's, it's multiple night markets, right? Multiple night markets in one street. Alright, we there is room there. We are going, we are going, we are going. Alright, this is the last... Oh no, the third one. We've just reached the third one. And this is called Gala Night Bazaar Market. Alright. Christian, let's go in. Huh? There's a fourth one. Ah, there's a fourth one up there. So there is a fourth market that we will look at. That is amazing. I, I don't even know if that's dry. That looks, yeah, that looks dry. Oh, wow. We're watching them in action. It's so realistic. It is definitely realistic. It is amazing. Art is something to be cherished. That's beautiful. So this is like the artwork section, I believe, that we've just got to. Oh, wow. Wow, look at that. <laughs> I freaking love this dog. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And the mosquito, I mean mosquito. I said mosquito, moustache guy, moustache guy. I was like, a mosquito guy, my bad. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Ready? Christian, do I look like him? Hold on, can I try this? I don't Close know if I do it. Fast enough? <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> All right, cool. What else do we have? Uh, durian. I'm telling you, it's a luxury. Crispy durian chips. Ooh, that is a uh, beautiful stuff. Wow, look at those artworks. Wow. Oh, they've got like some Eminem playing in the background as well. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. Alright, what do we have? Okay, so we have this left side. It's got like heaps of... Alright, what we can do is... uh, What I'm thinking, right, in terms of food, we're going to walk on this side, we're going to walk on that side, and then we're going to decide what we want to eat. I know Christian wants some koi sao. I did say koi sao. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. oh my god, sorry. My pronunciation is horrible. Koi soy? Koi soy? Koi soy. He doesn't need Maybe, maybe I'm teaching him incorrectly. My bad. My bad. That is purely my fault. I'm so sorry. Um, okay, cool. Uh, Alright, so we got Thai food here. Yeah, we are. I'm just gonna like... Ooh, look. More artwork on this side. Beautiful. Uh, no, let's uh, keep going. I just wanna have a look. French fries, mozzarella. This is more like a Western sort of food, like the steaks and the burgers. Uh, this store is closed, so we're gonna keep walking. Oh, over there, guys, um, is the uh, Shanghai Boxing Festival that you pay to get in. So, to standard seat is six hundred baht, but the ringside is a thousand baht. So, if you guys wanna like um, see sort of like fighting here in Chiang Mai, there is that as well. So, feel free to uh, come across here and uh, watch the show. So you got bubble milk tea here. What else do we have? Sky boat noodles. Wonton soup. Fruit shakes. Oh wow. Uh, let's have a look here. Oh, this one's very decently priced. This one's probably the cheapest I've seen so far. Oh, look at that. This dessert. Mmm. Yum. Okay, what do they have? No, you know what, Mary? You can't think of dessert right now because you need to get food. I'm gonna snap myself out of it, guys. There's Indian food as well. There's naan. Chocolate naan bread. Oh, that must be the sweet version of it. Oh, that is amazing. Oh, biryani. Butter chicken. Indian food, oh man, they have got like a range of selection here. This is beautiful. It's like you just you don't even have to stick to um Thai food here, you can get whatever you want here, really. This is so cool pork with honey. Oh, they grill it there. Mmm, smells really good. That's the out what's the outcome of it? Oh wow. Ooh. Yeah, you know what? Like, honestly, as an Australian, we always barbecue our food, and barbecues are like the go to for Australia. So, like, every time I see barbecue food, I'm like, ah, oh, it reminds me of home. Oh my gosh. And I'm like reminiscing on it. It's so good. I just miss home, but at the same time, I really want to show you guys this. It's beautiful. Every country I've been to is beautiful, and like, I just, I've just got this like adventurous side in me that I want to go and explore more and more and more. It's just, yeah. That's crazy. All right, so you got kebab here for a hundred baht. That's like five dollars. That's really cool. Okay, so you got kebab here too. Yeah, so um, like just looking at these prices, they are really cheap. Like five dollars, less than five dollars for a meal. This is amazing. Okay, fruit shakes for 60, 50. Oh, cow soy. There you go, we got another cow soy here that he can have. Ready? The cow soy. Oh wow, hello, uh, Sonica, how are you? Oh wow, and pork satay as well. That's cool, they have seafood too. All right, so now that we have seen these options, are we going to the other side? We'll have a look and then we'll decide. Yeah. yeah. Because we want to know our choices first before we actually uh, start deciding what food to get. So we're going to go on that side and then we are going to decide. Yay, I'm so hungry right now, honestly. Let's go. All right, so there is music here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you that there's actually like an amusement site here as well, where you can actually shoot them toys down and like, just like a, like, you know, like arcade games and stuff. So 
yeah like you can do that here too so in the middle there's like a rug store <laughs> it's so random but you know a rug store why not oh wow we got like some pork ribs as well so 160 Ooh, man look at those glazed that looks so good on the other side you've got pizza here and on that side you've got like bars as well but I don't think that's part of the um oh it is part of the market you've got billard tables to play and some bars as well I don't know how to pronounce this everyone so if I get it wrong apologies but is it quesadilla? quesadillas burritos I don't know how to say burritos tacos and churros so this is more like a Mexican sort of dish potato cheese chicken satay Oh man, that looks good. Hey, this uh, kind of reminds me of like Bali's uh, satay chicken. Wow. Hello, hello, how are you? Wow, that looks absolutely delicious. And we need to decide. We have so many options and we need to decide a few. All right, what's this? Oh, okay, so fried hot pan. So it's kind of like a, um, like an omelet and they chuck in uh, a few things like mussel and oysters. Oh, my favorite, durian. It's super sharp, guys. So, like, um, uh, yeah. If I was to open it myself, I probably wouldn't be able to do it. Oh, we got a fish. Oh my gosh. There are so many options. I have no clue what we're gonna do. There's so many food options. Spicy glass noodle salad. I wish someone would make a decision for me because I can't, but uh, I'm gonna make Christian do that. All right, so we have Pad Thai here as well. Oh, look at that big wok over there. Noodles. Oh, look at those sticks. Mmm. Wow. French fries, fried chicken. That's that Korean seafood. Mmm. Whoops. That over there was papaya salad. Uh, this one's like mixed chicken rice. Oh, and there's like a live music here as well, everyone. So this is the fruit check. Wow, this is like a really overwhelming in terms of like the uh, light. And um, yeah, this is a very decently priced. I think this was cheaper than the other side. Oh no, this is actually... um. Oh, the smoothie. Okay, yeah, it is smoothie. Cool. Oh, wow. Look at this. Hey, uh, we can actually get grilled crocodile here for a hundred bucks. Hello, mister. Hey, <laughs> spit me! Wow. Even beetles on a stick. Alright, so they're like 60 baht to eat. You want to try it? You can. Oh, yeah. I'm just asking you if you want to try it. Oh, daring enough to ask me. He knows what the answer is. You guys know what the answer is as well. There's no way I'm trying that. Maybe one day when I'm daring enough and I've got a lot of willpower, but like, that's not this year. Both the ideas have some problems. Ah, okay. Christian's blaming his stomach problems. He's like, I've got a stomach problem right now, so I, I can't have the bugs. That's an excuse. No way. <laughs> That's an excuse, Christian. <laughs> Alright, so here's the uh, live music right here. And, um, oh, it's got brownies as well. That's really nice dessert. Yeah. Mmm. Okay. Here's the burgers again. Um, by the way, guys, like I'm just looking at these prices. I feel like this left-hand side is actually like cheaper than the right-hand side in which we just went to. Um, like I was just looking, yeah, it's just a little bit cheaper. So what I saw on that side was like 60 for like uh, fruit shakes, and this side here is like 40 to 45. Uh, there is 160, but that's like a mixed fruit shake. So I think they've got more fruits in there. Mango sticky rice. I guess that's why, like they say, you know, have a look at your options first before you actually start buying. Because uh, you don't know whether it's like cheaper on the other side or not. 50 to 40 baht. Sounds about right. Oh. There is vegetarian food here too. That's good. Oh, that, how smooth does that look? I'm just looking at the outside. That looks really smooth. Like there's no like crisp to it or anything. It looks, looks like it's been cooked really well. This is waffle. 
a takiyaki balls as well. Mr. the corn. What do we have? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I just, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Roti. Mm. That's more of a barbecued red pork. Wow. And this here is the bar as well. And um, just for everyone as well, um, I came here last night and uh, there's a really cool uh, bar that you can go to that they play music. It's going to start at 7.30pm. It is 6.30pm. Uh, I did decide to come a little bit earlier so I can show you guys around the place without like too much noise. So like up there, there's going to be like uh, live music playing around 7.30 and they've got some pretty cool music they play. Like last night they were playing um, like September, what's it called? Song called Green Day September. Um, and like that sort of like style. Um, so if you're into that sort of music, this is definitely the place to go to in Shanghai. Uh, okay, so uh, what else do we have here? Alright, so we have the tom yum noodle soup, chicken wonton. We've got a coconut milkshake. So this is like full just coconut. Uh, yeah, so all coconut themed sort of uh, store. Uh, gyozas. Oh, let's check out that side and I think we've just pretty much explored like all the food options that we have over there They've got wine. They sell wine. Um, this here is mango sticky rice. You've got meat here uh, This is more like rice with grilled chicken So rice with meat in general. So these are like the options that you have and oh, they've got chicken curry too. Awesome Very reasonable like they're around 70 80. That's really cheap. Oh Look, there's banana crepe Mmm. Ah, oh, so many options. Oh, cow soy as well. Chicken, meat. Mm. So, cow soy is uh, like Chiang Mai's, uh, what's it called? National dish, I guess. Because um, I know pho is uh, Vietnam's, and I believe cow soy is Chiang Mai's. Northern, there you go. Northern famous cow soy. So, definitely correct in that sense. Oh, wow. Oh, we've got so many options. What are we going to do? All right, so uh, have we walked on this side? I'm just confused. Hold on. So they've got fried ice cream on this side, and they've got seats here for us. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, almost slipped on that PowerPoint. I don't know why, but I always slip in the videos. It's just careless of me, I guess. Steaks, butter chicken, some kebabs as well. That's cheaper. 80 for a chicken kebab. On the other side, it was 99 or 90 or 100. Wow, guys, so yeah, definitely this side on the right hand side is much cheaper than the left hand side. A roti and pork ribs. All right, so we have just explored this side of the market. Um, Christian and I are going to think about what we're going to eat because I don't want you guys to like wait for us to decide because we are very indecisive people. So, um. <laughs> What we have no I I want to try the cow soy so Okay he's made a decision perfect so that means that we're going for cow soy let's see which one he wants and then we're gonna order it let's go Okay so we have just decided um Christian actually made up his mind quite quickly this time around and he's like I want a cow soy so we're gonna get cow soy um we're gonna go for this northern famous cow soy uh let's go chicken I feel like chicken is the major um dish here yeah yeah I want a chicken please so he's gonna order us a chicken and she's gonna make it for us. Um, I'm not too sure. I think it's like, uh, I think you can add your spices itself. Are you no good with spice? My stomach. stomach problem. That's right. <laughs> Forgot about that. All right, what do we have here? Oh, chicken. Chicken drumstick. All right, and what are we gonna add? So she's gonna put the sauce in for us. Ooh. All right, this looks amazing, everyone. I can't wait to eat it. My mouth is like salivating right now looking at it. I don't know if that's word salivating, like, I don't know if I made that word up or not, but I'm pretty sure that's a word. So they put the, um, like the wet noodles in there and they also put like a fried um, noodles too. So it just makes it so much more crispy. Oh my goodness. Mm. 
and I believe they put uh, a little bit of uh, greens in there too so I'm just gonna wait uh, see what she does okay she puts a lime in there yeah Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah. So we put this one in here, a topping inside. Oh, I don't know how much to put. Pickles? Uh, pickles? Ah, pickles, pickles. All right, I'll put that one in. I'll just pay first and then we'll put it in. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, so we're going to chuck this in. Pickles. I don't know how much to put in. Uh, what is a good range? I have no clue. I'm just gonna keep adding it in. I, I think that's enough though. Uh, onion, uh, you know what? I'm actually not a big fan of raw onion. I love onion in general, but I just can't do raw onion. It's just, uh, makes me wanna cry eating it. <laughs> it's a little bit of an exaggeration, everyone, but um, yeah. Generally speaking, uh, that uh, that's chili seasoning. So if you want it a little bit more spicy, you can add it in. Yeah, just speak on the topic of onions. They literally make you cry when you cut them. So uh, I wasn't like metaphorically speaking. I was literally speaking as well. Uh, okay, so we need to find a spot. So where shall we go? Should we go here or hmm? that way? Or like the north All right, we're gonna find a spot to eat and then uh, we'll dive right into it. It looks so good right now. Let's go. All right, we have just got now uh, meal and we've uh, sat at a table. So. Uh, We've got the fan there blowing on us, so you can see his hair is going out of control right now. Mine is as well, but you know what? It's completely fine. All right, let's dig in. Let's see. You gonna give it a shot? I'm gonna give it a shot. All right, Christian, you go first. What are your thoughts on it? <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't know how to describe food really. But That's okay. Good. Okay, it's good. That's all I need to know. Spicy. It's spicy? I think I shouldn't have put more. Maybe it's already spicy, but... <laughs> I guess so. I don't know. I haven't tried mine yet. Because <laughs> I added one. Oh, you added spicy? Oh, rookie mistake. Should have tried it first. You always try your food before you add stuff. Besides the uh, pickles, because uh, the pickles is great. Alright, so we're going to try this. I haven't tried it yet. We're going to eat it. And I'm going to give this a shot. Let's go. And the noodles. Mm -hmm. Like, see how my hair's going all over the place? I started at a really bad place, but this is not really seen I could find. That was really good. Okay. This is not really soft. It's got a hint of spice in there. It's not really spicy. A little bit, a hint, a hint. Not really spicy, but a hint in the soup. I can taste it in the noodles. So, um, the fried noodles is a crisp, so you're pretty much having like crunchy noodles inside this uh, dish itself, which is absolutely amazing because I love crunchy stuff. And um, I've had a pickle. The pickles are a little bit sour, so if you're eating it, I would prefer to actually have it with the old noodles and the soup as well. This is a full flavour. Now, we're going to have the chicken. Let's eat the chicken. Mm. Wow. Wow. That chicken was good. Now, that chicken is so moist that it fell off the stick. So as soon as I bit it, the chicken fell off. So that's how like soft and um, how uh, how long it's been like boiled in the soup itself, or like boiled really. Because generally when it falls off, guys, I don't cook, so like you're gonna have to correct me if I'm wrong here. But I think um, when you actually cook it for a very long time, like uh, steam it or boil it, it generally comes off. Like the meat comes off very uh, quickly. Correct me if I'm wrong, so I'm, I'm not a cook here. But yeah, this is absolutely delicious. Like it just fell off. It was that bite was amazing. Now the last thing we're gonna try is the soup. Give you guys a. So it's very uh, green, and I feel like there's coconut cream in there as well. But mm. yeah, it's definitely spicy. Yeah. 
Yeah. Definitely spicy. There is a hint of spicy. Mm. So, I don't know the distinct taste of what ingredients are in there, but this pretty much meal is a, um, a curry. It's a curry mixed with like yellow egg noodles and crispy noodles as well. And they've got the pickles and the chicken, which absolutely complements it so well. So, it is a bit spicy. So, uh, if you don't like spice, um, I, I still think you should try it because it's not like as spicy as I, I think it is. It's just like a hint of spice in there and a little bit of chili. So if you are here, definitely give this a shot. This is Chiang Mai's most favorite or like popular dish here. So yeah, we are going to devour this. I think Christian's already gone like hard in terms of his uh, dish. <laughs> are you smiling? <laughs> so good. Definitely. So good? Yeah. Oh my god, I can't wait to finish this. Let's go, it's amazing! All right, so Christian and I have just finished that meal and that was absolutely delicious. Now we're gonna go on to our next adventure. What are we gonna have? All right, everyone, so um, Christian and I have a really small stomach. So I asked him whether he wanted any more food and he's like, I'm getting really full. Can we just have dessert um, next? So what we're doing is we are going to be having dessert. And what we decided to choose is, uh, because we're in uh, Thailand, we thought we'd go with roti, so He's just uh, kind of deciding right now what he wants to do. Mango caramel. Mango caramel? Yeah, sure. That looks like super different. I've never had that before. But if that, uh, you're interested in that, then definitely. I personally have never had mango caramel, to be honest. Like, when I come to Thailand, the only thing I think of is like my go-to is uh, banana and Nutella. That's like the bomb. Like, it's just like, I feel like it just hits the mark really right. And, um, Oh, just on top of that, everyone. So they've actually got uh, waffles here as well. So not only do you have the roti at the top, you have the um, waffles here down here. And that's the Hong Kong style waffles. Oh, the pancakes, I'd say. And uh, the banana. Oh, okay, so they're making it now. I'm just going to record it. Oh, okay. So what do we have? We have mango. Mango. How long have you been selling here for? How long you sell here? Two years? Two years work here? Oh. For me? Ah, uh, for you? I here, I stay here, here. Yeah. About eight, uh, eight years. Oh, eight years, wow. Yeah. So you sell roti for eight years? Yes. Ah, amazing. That is so cool. Wow. Watch the expert make it. Yum, everyone. So look, she's gonna cut that and that's uh, someone else's, but it's gonna be like the same process. Wow. Look at that mango in there. Wow. wow, wow. wow. Looks delicious. Yum. Oh, that's chocolate sauce. Oh, for some reason, that looks like Nutella. I think that is Nutella. Yeah, that's Nutella. That's Nutella for sure. I take a and someone else's. Awesome. Yeah, that's definitely a teller because like uh, the chocolate syrup has like a little bit more dark one. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Mango and caramel, please. Yeah. Uh, here. Uh, eat here, right? I'll take away. Eat here. They've got like M and M in the background too, so it's like really pumping me up to eat dessert. <laughs> Caramel, caramel, yeah, caramel. <laughs> caramel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yum. Beautiful. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, you too. Alright, will you just eat like. We'll get for the second one over there. Oh, actually, I think they're gonna sit there. There's just someone like behind us. I was like, oh, let's just sit here then. So we're gonna sit here and we're gonna give it a shot. Uh, it looks really hot. It looks super nice. I've never tried this, so I'm like super stoked to try it. I'm like full pumped up right now because Eminem and Dre is like playing in the background. There's like rap music as well. So <laughs> it's like, let's get pumped up to eat this caramel. What's it called? Caramel. Caramel, caramel, caramel. mango roti. Yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. 
All right, so we're gonna get uh, Christian to eat it first, right? And you're gonna tell us uh, what you think of it. I like it. You like it? Yeah. That's good. He's laughing because he's like, please don't make me say anything because uh, I'm very camera shy and also like I don't know how to describe the food. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's mango and caramel on it so <laughs> I'm, I'm literally just teasing him guys like I'm like teasing him right now because it's funny because back then when I was like starting vlogging as well I had no idea how to describe food like I was just like oh yeah this is great but in saying so like as more the more you do it the more you understand like how to describe food whether it's being sweet uh, a little bit sticky and stuff like that so yeah I just wanted to tease him for fun because like it's just so fun seeing him embarrassed but at the same time, he doesn't mind it as well. So like, of course, I would never cross that boundary if he felt super uncomfortable, but he can laugh it off, so it's okay, okay right? It's okay. <laughs> Literally, I'm just playing, guys. All right, so, um, all right, so we're gonna give this a shot and uh, let's go, let's go. Uh, this one has the mango, right? This, it looks really crispy, but the middle looks, uh, this one has mango as well. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with the middle one because uh, it's got like, you can tell the mango is like sticking out of there. So, I'm gonna have to eat this like chopsticks, honestly. I am in a how to uh, kind of uh, pick it up. Oh, it's getting really loud now. I think I've got like traditional music on right now. Oh, that's just the music. Nothing's playing. It's alright. We're not missing anything, guys. Alright. Let's try it. Oh, sorry. Um, can I just like pull it a little bit closer? Just uh, in case it drops. Sorry. Alright, we're gonna give it a shot. Crispy. The inside is so mushy, but like, the mangoes make it very mushy. I think it was like um when I saw it, uh, the uh, sorry it's really loud, so like I hope you guys can hear me. But uh, the the inside was frozen when I saw it put it on, so I'm assuming like it's like defrosted a little bit, and so it's melted. So inside is very soft, the outside is very crispy, and when you bite it, it's like just uh, like a nice texture in general. The caramel sauce on top makes it sweet, and I love sweet, so like that was a really good combination. I've never had sort of uh, mango this sort of uh, roti before, but I, I, I give it a shot. Like it's, it's a vibe. It's a vibe, definitely. So yeah, it's so cool. I like it. Yum. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was after. <laughs> it's great, guys. All right, so we've just finished that meal, and uh, we were walking around this way. So we continued walking straight, and that over there is uh, the place that we just left. So. Now we're gonna be walking this way, and Christian's like looking at all these clothes. Are you gonna buy anything? No. <laughs> <laughs> there was something stuck in my teeth. Oh, there was something stuck in his teeth. Don't worry about it. It was dark, so we couldn't see that, right, guys? <laughs> oh, damn, they sell like uh, knives here as well. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, this is super blue. Cool. Yeah, so like just like on this side as well, yeah. there's a lot of um, street stores outside. So um, yeah, that's what you can expect too. And uh, we're just almost at the uh, final night market. So this here is number four, everyone. Four night market. So we just did four night markets today in um, one night. It's crazy. That's how close they are to each other uh, in terms of like the night market. So in Chiang Mai, they're just super close to each other and uh, we're gonna head in there now. It's actually called, uh, this place right here? I don't know how to pronounce it. So it's called Ploen Rude Night Market. Ploen Day, Ploen Day. Uh, no, sorry, it's called Ploen Rude Night Market. So it's open from 6 p.m. to midnight. Um, and they got live music here. Uh, I just want to let you know, I'm just going to uh, sort of, oh, hold on, I'll show you the scenery, it's actually pretty nice. It's so how this lantern set up, it's so beautiful, like it's such a vibe here. I think it's like more modern than the other sort of night markets. It's outdoorsies, it's beautiful, like it's got like lots of seating arrangements as well, just with the live band there. Um, I did come here yesterday, so it is a vibe, like the music is amazing. They had like um, something like a uh, slow song music and uh, like, I don't know if anyone knows, but Kiss Me by Sixpence. Ah, I think that's the one. But uh, yeah, like, 
Kiss Me Slowly, the song, Kiss Me Slowly, by oh, Sixpence. This one? No, 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 the before, yesterday, oh, okay. yeah, yesterday, yeah. That was the type of like slow jam sort of song that you can expect. So what we do is we're going to walk around this whole place and uh, that will be pretty much the end of the four night market tour that I have taken you guys to. So let's go. So the first thing that you can expect here is um, chicken wings. Fried wings. Okay. We got sticks here. What have we got? Yep, yep. Ooh. 80 baht, signature rice. Oh, see, I'm telling you guys, it's such a vibe. Like, these songs are like RB songs. It's so cool. Alright, so there's movies here as well. Uh, I think they're a little bit more, um, I think they're a little more pricier than the other side. So, this one here, uh, the food truck's around like 65 baht. I think uh, the other place was around 40 to 50. There is actually a lot of choices here. Yeah. Wow, beautiful. Similar, right? similar. Yeah, this is definitely more of the um, modern sort of place. A lot of tourists here as well, by the way. Oh, this is soy. That's what we just had. Car soy. Coconut curry. Oh, it is coconut curry. So that's what we had. Coconut curry. So that over there, I'm just going to check the prices. Uh, it's around 80 baht. For chicken cow soy. So yeah, um, like just in terms of prices, it is a little bit more inflated here. I think it's because it's a newer market. So um, we're just uh, having a look. Oh, look at that! Oh, amazing! Oh, what do they have here? Oh, that's pad thai, I believe. Oh, he's putting in a really big sort of a pan. I was like, I couldn't even find the words. Oh, let's watch him make it. You guys are here with me. Oh, wow. Hey, okay, um, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but you know the uh, way he's cooking it? He's actually got a vent here, and uh, all the uh, sort of steam is going in there. Look at that. There's no one in there. Ah, it's so cool. Oh, so he cooks it. He cooks it raw and puts water in it, and he actually cooks it like that because... Um, Generally how they cook it is, uh, that's actually very efficient to be honest. So generally like, the way they cook it is uh, you put water in there, like a uh, pot of water and then you wait for it to go soft and then you start cooking it. But yeah, this is super efficient. And by the way, when I'm speaking like putting hot water into like a pot, it's just the way that I would generally cook it. Um, but that is super, super, super efficient. That is awesome. Wow, look at that. I think that's Pad Thai. Pad Thai. Yeah, and he's got the sauce. Ooh, look at that sauce. Yum. I can smell it. It smells so good. Wow. This is beautiful. All right, let's see what else we have. So he's going to put that with uh, all the other ingredients over there. So I've got uh, bars here. Oh, vodka buckets. Oh, no way. That Thai food here as well. Yeah, yeah, pineapple fried rice. Thai food. Have your Indian food here. And your sticks. Have a look at that. Which one? Pineapple fried rice? Yes, I have. Oh, uh, yeah, it's actually pretty good. So, Christian just asked whether I tried pineapple fried rice. I have uh, when I was here five years ago, and it was like in a pineapple. It was so cute. I loved it because it's like such a cute layout to um, eating fried rice. And uh, yeah, it was absolutely delicious. It's got like a little bit of spice in it though. I wasn't sure what the spice was, but yeah, it's definitely got a distinct spice taste to it. Um, Alright, so you've got sausages here, they sell corn, corn dog cheese. What is that? Oh. It's like a sausage with like a lot of herbs in there. Oh, barbecue food. Alright, this one is all about mangoes. Whipped cream mango. Mango shake. Mango coconut milk. Mango, to sticky rice. To everything. Yeah, it's like a mango themed sort of a, a store right here. That's so cool. It's like a coconut themed store at the other place. Uh, they've got burgers here. 
It's like Western food. Okay. Oh, they got temples. Um, they've got sorry temples. Um, they got shrines here as well. We have pizza. They got pizza here. They're around one fifty five, two sixty five, and nine nine five. Everyone. Just if you're interested in any pizza. Oh, yum. Barbecue poppers. That smells so good. Sorika. Wow. Those are the prices over there. If you're expecting to come, that's what you can expect to pay. And this here is the paya salad. Thai papaya salad. This is uh, street seafood. Okay, that must be the back entrance. So now we're going to this side, on the right hand side. So similarly, you've got beverages here as well. Oh, that's actually very cheap. So uh, our lemon teas are around 40 baht. And the like soft drinks are around 40 baht as well. Ooh. Oh wow, look at this, honey baked chicken. Oh, look at that whole chicken. Pork with honey. Oh, that looks good. Pork with honey. And there's pork belly on that other side. That's so nice. Oh my gosh. They've got special gyoza as well. Gyoza. Fruits, this is just fruits. They've got your door, oh, my favorite guys, durian, mango thing, mango, and they've got like fruits here. They're around like 50, so 250. Mm. Roti as well. Maybe Thai milk tea with roti as well. Roll ice cream. just blue so I just got lessons from a kid um, it's actually just beneath
do is we'll just end this video right here. Like we visited four night markets today. We got uh, Pavilion, Bazaar, and Kala. And this one is Port uh, Rutan, I don't know, Rutan something. I'm not too sure, but there's four night markets that we visited and that's what you can expect to, to um, uh, that's what you can expect when you come to this place right here and uh, they're super close to each other so very convenient so if you're here you can like hit four landmarks in one night it's absolutely so good the prices are great they do range in different areas i think this one is probably the most expensive one compared to the other ones do you have a youtube but, channel oh uh, yeah i do i do oh, what's your youtube channel uh traveling with Mads. okay wait I'll, I'll i'll search it up yeah sure thing sure thing i just was out you didn't see me but i was in the back of the camera going like this oh. <laughs> So, everyone, she's going to be in uh, the YouTube uh, video. Hello, I'm Jazz. I'm from Australia. No way. No way. Which one? Melbourne. Oh, okay. Where We're neighbours. We're neighbours. Where are you in Sydney? I'm Sydney. Oh. No, I'm Sydney. I was in Sydney. <laughs> Wait, what's, what is it again? We just uh, happened to find two Australians here. What a coincidence. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. What's your YouTube again? Uh, Travelling with Maz. Travelling with Maz. So, guys, look at that. What a coincidence. I'm and here on a school trip. Are oh, you on a school trip? What are you doing on the school trip? We're doing a mission trip. Ah. So like going to the remote communities and yeah, like yeah. to the schools and stuff like that. Oh, awesome. This will be an amazing experience for you. It is very good. Yeah. We leave on Saturday though. Oh, well, you got time to explore this area. Yes, right? exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, it was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you Bye, YouTube. <laughs> that was a very interesting experience. I love meeting people and uh, absolutely a pleasure, honestly. Uh, what, uh, what were we up to? I actually, I'm lost for thoughts. I'm like, oh, what are we up to now? Uh, so what were we up to was uh, we were talking about like the night market in general. I think it's amazing. Like you hit four night markets in one night. How crazy is that? They're so close to each other. So definitely if you're in the area, uh, give it a shot. And if uh, if you aren't, this is what you can expect from the night market. And I've taken you around the whole tour of the place. So uh, you're not missing anything out. And I think the only thing is the music that will be upcoming soon. Uh, they do start around like 7.30 p.m. to midnight. Most of the places do close around midnight. And uh, we have uh, done everything and I've tried to explain everything to you so you're like super prepared when you come to Chiang Mai. Um, okay, so what we'll do is we'll end this video. If you like this video, like, comment and subscribe and we'll be back for more. All right, see you guys later. Have a good night. See you. Bye.